You want to know something that bums me out? I brought my sunglasses with me in the car, but they are still in the car at the airport. As I was uh, enjoying my time in the pool, I sat down together with Alex and realized that in the groin... <laughs> yeah, you can, you can imagine the rest. mode is turned on. I want to talk a little bit about the house. There's been some question about it. And first things first, as I mentioned in a previous vlog, permits. A crap load of permits. So we bought the property back in December last year, which is almost eight months ago. And there's been, first off, the building permit, the, the actual house builder in place. You have to approve everything. You have to have a credit lock together with the bank and the actual house builder. Otherwise, you're not able to get a loan. All of those things has taken a huge amount of time to get into place. And then also we had an issue with some historic stuff being in the backyard of our property and where we're going to have the house. So all in all, it's been a lot. But I think that we kind of ended up and summed everything up as we wanted it to be. Somewhere around June, but then we also have something that's called the industrial vacation here in Sweden. Which means that throughout the entire summer, there's a huge load of companies that has some planned vacation for their employees. So what happened then was that throughout these three months that has been over the summer, like June, July, and August, there's been very little being done. But if you've been around for some time, then you probably know that I can't just sit around and wait for things to happen. So I have been working kind of in the background of trying to make everything happen that we want to have in the house that is good to do right now. So all the work that needs to be done to the ground is something that is included into the entire price of the house that we're paying. And the first kind of offer that we had was somewhere around 31,000 euros or dollars, whatever you want to choose, give and take a few bucks. That was sort of like for everything covered on the house and a concrete slab for the garage to stand on. But I decided to add up a couple of things because me and Amanda, we have been discussing to build an extra house on the property that is a little bit smaller, that our guests can live in, but also to have a pool. But we all know that a pool costs a lot of money. It's great to have that. So I've been working in this program that is called Live Home 3D Pro, designing the entire property as I have visioned in my head. And this is what it looks like right now. Most of these is just visions and how I want it to be, but we're actually blasting out a hole for the actual pool on the property at the same time as they're doing the blast for the house and the garage as well. And the entire reason for doing this is because I thought that it would be a great time to actually do it now instead of doing it later. But what that also meant was that we needed to have a crap lot of more money. So as you probably have seen on my main channel, there's been a huge amount of videos that has been sponsored throughout the last year and throughout the beginning of this year, but then it's sort of like faded off. But now we have actually paid out the dividends from my company to be able to cover those expenses that we are asking the builders to do, except for just the house. So there's been a lot of work and there's still a lot of work to be done. That is the status. Hopefully, they're going to start everything by the end of this month. I guess we'll see, but I'm gonna keep you updated. I'm not entirely sure if I'm gonna keep up the daily vlog here on this trip, but it is coming. It is coming daily vlog. I'm getting into it again. It feels good. Huh? Thank you for being here. I appreciate you.
been through one case of beer already, but it's vacation time and I like beer. <laughs>